Uh, Lance Zerline from the NFL Network just tweeted out, Kyler Murray's height, weight, and hand size are all positives for him. I don't think many teams will buy into his weight actually staying there as a pro, but the hand size is good for him. It never looked like hand size was an issue with the way he pumped and manipulated the ball. Now, this is different than, you know, would you? It's could they? And do we have the sound bite? We do or we don't? Okay. All right. We don't have it yet. Sorry. This new system is just killing us. But anyway, uh, I read the quote. I don't know if I did read the quote from Dave Burkett in the free press. Matt Patricia yesterday talking about Daryl Bevel's influence on the offense. Obviously coming up through Green Bay, Minnesota with the quarterbacks that th he had there in those years. And then obviously on to Seattle with Russell Wilson. Just really thought from a personality standpoint, philosophical standpoint, very similar to what we're trying to get done in Detroit. Well, you're not going to make Matt Stafford Russell Wilson. Can you run Russell Wilson's offense with Kyler Murray? Absolutely. Yeah. Daryl Bevel's most success came in Seattle with Russell Wilson. Could it, could, could it happen? I'm sheepish asking the question because I've gone from no way in hell to now thinking, well, maybe, maybe we need to talk about this more. Well, Daryl Bevel, I mean, that's not the only place that he worked. Right. And Minnesota Green Bay. Yeah, exactly. And with those teams, I mean, would you obviously he was um uh had different personnel in those stops when he was with the Packers and when he was with the Vikings. And when he was with the Packers, he was uh he wasn't a coordinator, he was a quarterback's coach, assistant quarterback's coach, worked with Brett Favre. With the Vikings from 2006 to 2010, I'm trying to think back. Is it a Culpepper year in there? There's got to be Culpepper in there for maybe for a year. Um, probably Brett Favre in there as well for a season. Um, but he had Adrian Peterson. That was the big thing. His teams were able to run the football. Well, he had the best running back in football at the time. And then he goes to Seattle, and, and Seattle has their nice offense. Marshawn Lynch it went in full beast mode, and Russell Wilson as well. So I, I think they're... He can do it with a running quarterback, his offense, or he can, a, I'm sorry, a quarterback that's able to run, a mobile quarterback, or he can do it with a, a statue back there and, and throw the football and throw it well. It doesn't matter. Although that's not being too fair to Brett Favre. He had some mobility as well. Um, is this Stafford's mobility certainly emulates more of Brett Favre than it does Russell Wilson. So I don't know if, if I'm not going to read too much into that quote. Will I – do I even think there's even a remote possibility the Lions take him? I just don't. I, I think they're so married to Stafford, and that, and that contract is so prohibitive for them to trade him at this time. Next year, it's a different discussion, and it's definitely a different discussion if he has if he puts up the same numbers he did this past year. Well, look – Which I would not expect him to. I, I am a uh... – I'm not a fan of this move. I'd, I'd go another year with and, and get involved in the court. I'd go another year with, with Stafford. I would absolutely add a quarterback this year in the middle rounds. And I, if it failed again and failed miserably, I'd be looking at the top of the draft next year to go quarterback. But, and that's still the case. I just, I just think that there are a couple things here that have happened that make me think, okay, maybe they could do this. He had four different quarterbacks in five years at Minnesota. He had Ferrari, he had Tavares Jackson, he had Brett Favre, and uh, now I'm escaping the other one. I'm thinking it might be Brad Johnson. So, I mean, he had all kinds of different styles of quarterbacks there. Uh, my question is, would he? Is it? Is it a? Is it important to Daryl Bevel? Is it important to Daryl Bevel to emulate what Russell Wilson was capable of? Here's some of the feedback that's uh, come in. I live in Seattle. When Wilson was drafted, the median fans killed the team for taking a small quarterback in the third round. Obviously, people are happy, and the perception of the small quarterback has changed. Uh, next one, Rosen had one of the worst supporting casts in football and terrible coaches. He already had a chip on his shoulder. If he gets traded, that chip gets massive. I'd be fine trading a mid-round pick for Rosen and moving number nine in June. I think they'd be looking for more in a mid-round pick. I, I would think so, too. I still don't understand why Murray gets so much hype. Dwayne Haskins will definitely transfer better all well to the NFL. High accuracy pocket passer. I like Haskins more. If I mean, if they were both on the board, I'm taking Haskins. But this is not talking about what Doug would do. We're talking about could the Lions 
actually consider this. Well, but there's also a misconception out there that Kyler Murray isn't a pocket passer. He, he can't throw in the pocket. Pro Football Focus did this whole deep dive on, on what he is as a passer, and his rating as a pocket passer was, like, best in the country. He throws out of the pocket just fine. What he can do is move around in that pocket and then get back into it if necessary and, and still throw the ball because he is mobile as all get out. Uh, does anyone else find it odd that he measured at under 5'10 at Oklahoma, but now he's over 5'10? Do we think he grew half an inch over the season? It's from Joe and Howe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's odd or not. I don't know if that's odd or not. I mean, if if... How old is he? Is he 20? Do you grow half an inch when you're 20? Is he 21? I think for the most part, you're done with your any growth spurts. But do I find it odd? Yeah, maybe a little. Murray is definitely going to be off the board now. Almost no point in discussing it for the Lions. Murray won't be there. Well, he might go number one overall. I think the Steve Kime quote is fascinating to me. The GM in Arizona. Is Josh Rosen our quarterback? Yeah, he is right now for sure. Ish. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that sounds like. Yeah. Um, well, for what it's worth, he was listed at 5'10", 192 when he was there with Baker. But do you remember, you remember what the Oklahoma SID said? In socks, he measured in at 5'9", and 7'8", and they just rounded it up. You measure bare feet at the – so in bare feet, he measures half an inch, more than half an inch taller? I'm just I'm – just, you're throwing – I'm giving some more information on this. All, All right. I'm saying is looking at their uh, website, the team website, the 2017-18 season, Kyler Murray was listed at 5'10". Uh, here's one that's that's interesting. Classic Doug and Gator with the dumbest possible takes. The only thing this means is our pick has higher value with the possibility of someone taking him before us or trading up to our pick to draft him. We're not taking Kyler Murray, and anyone who hints otherwise is a complete moron. Let me back up here. Uh, you You may not like the take. That's fine. This making the Lions pick more valuable is something as we peel the onion that we're going to get to. Absolutely. The trade possibility becomes something else that, you know, we were, it was going to come up as the story, the, the show goes on for sure. For sure. You know, the, the idea that he's answering the height question and the hand size question and the weight question at the combine, look, the reaction for the NFL world is, Oh, wow. Okay. And I think it's changing changing beliefs regarding Kyler Murray. Look, I said a month ago, don't be surprised if he goes number one overall. And because it's it feels similar to the arc of Baker Mayfield. And I, I still don't count, discount that. I'm curious. He's not going to throw at the combine, and I don't know if he's going to run either because – if he has put on weight just so he's going to appear heavier at the combine at the measurables, which I think everybody agrees with, it would behoove him to hold off on the running until he drops the weight for his pro day and then runs the blazing 40 time he's going to. Or not. I'm hoping he runs. Even if he's put on an extra 10 pounds or 15 pounds, whatever it is, I'm dying to see him run. And that's the next big ooh and ah coming from the, uh, the combine. Uh, from Jerry, increased height and weight, which now makes him still the far, by far the shortest and lightest quarterback in the league. Well, technically, I mean, if you look at the combine, he's weighing in heavier than what Russell Wilson weighed in at. But it's still but for this, the shortest and lightest quarterback one. in the league, yeah.